elastic collision or ob oblique elastic collision. Oblique elastic collision. Oblique elastic collision. So, what is the oblique elastic collision? Okay, oblique collision means let us consider same thing we have to consider here the two masses. Okay, M1 mass and let M2 mass. But here the masses should be equal. So, what we can take M1 is equal to M2 is equal to M we have to take. Okay. Let us consider here M1 is moving position. M1 is moving and M2 is at rest position. Rest position. So now I am going to draw the diagram. What is this M1? Next one M2. Okay. M1 is equal to how much I am taking? M m2 also i am taking m okay this as moving means u1 is equal to velocity will be there then this is at rest means u2 is equal to how much zero so what happened they are moving they are moving okay after some time what happened this will come and this will eat that then what happened then the suppose let us person one is at rest another one is sorry one is moving uh, moving object is there next another one is resting is there so the moving object approaches the rest one what happened when uh, certain time they collides what happened then they will go different direction okay same thing will happen here here also same phenomena happening here see so what happened in that case see they will go different directions so like this and like this they will go so here what is there next one here x axis will be there always so here which one mass is there here let us consider this is a m1 next here what we can consider this is m2 we can consider so here you can take this is theta this is you can take pi that is your choice either you can take about theta or pi so what happen here if you resolve the vectors what happen always we have to take the horizontal component cos theta cos theta what is there this one velocity v1 cos theta 1 next here what you have to take v1 sin theta 2 next here what we can take here also same thing what is this here v2 cos pi 1 next v2 sin pi 1 okay you know very well already so horizontal components always we have to consider the cos theta next to perpendicular components we have to consider the sin theta due to this this is a perpendicular this is a horizontal okay and this diagram this is moving in the x direction okay after collision what happens they are going different different directions okay whether they are after collision they are going parallel or they are going perpendicular or they are going to different different directions that we are going to find the that we are going to find from the diagram so um, according to law of conservation of momentum according to law of conservation of momentum okay what we can write already we know very well m1 u1 plus m2 u2 is equal to m1 v1 plus m2 v2 oh. so what i consider previously i consider the do, those two masses are equal and the u1 is moving moving u2 is at rest so what i mean here m1 u1 u2 how much is there m2 this is how much zero then how much this is m1 v1 plus how much is there m2 v2 okay next what is the case next m1 m2 is equal how much is there let m1 m2 is equal how much is there m is there so i am substituting then what happened m u1 is equal m v1 next m v2 okay see which term i can take in common here m i can take common v1 plus 
वे टू ओके दैट इज हाउ मच इज दैट एलमेंट यम यम गेट्स कैंसिल फाइनली वॉट आई गॉट इयर यू वन इज इक्वल हाउ मच आई गॉट वी वन प्लस वे टू दिस इज अक्वेशन नंबर वन ओके दैन मूवेंट ऑफ कंजर्वेशन ला ओवर नेक्स्ट अकॉर्डिंग टू ला ऑफ कंजर्वेशन ऑफ कैनेटिक एनर्जी अकॉर्डिंग टू ला ऑफ कंजर्वेशन ऑफ कैनेटिक एनर्जी ओके वट इज द फार्मुला वन बै टू एम वन यू वन स्क्वेर नेक्स्ट वन बै टू एम वन यू टू स्क्वेर प्लस सारी ईक्वल वन बै टू एम वन वि वन स्क्वेर नेक्स्ट वन बै टू एम वन वि टू स्क्वेर ओके दे विच टर्म वी कैन टेक कामन वन बै टू वन बै टू गेट्स कैंसिल एम वन वि वन स्क्वेर नेक्स्ट एम टू वि टू स्क्वेर वन बै टू वन बै टू गेट्स कैंसिल देन यू टू इज ईक्वल जीरो एंड एम वन एम टू इज ईक्वल एम कैन ए सब्सिट्यूट एम वन इज एम वन एम टू इज ईक्वल एम मीन वाट एफ देन एम यू वन स्क्वेर इज ईक्वल नेक्स्ट एम वि वन स्क्वेर एम वि टू स्क्वेर कैन ए टेक कामन दम एम यू वन स्क्वेर नेक्स्ट एम वि वन स्क्वेर v2 square then which term gets cancel m m gets cancel then what is the remaining u1 square is equal v1 square plus v2 square this is the equation number 2 where is the equation number 1 there is a equation number 1 here equation number 2 but according to parallelogram theory we are having r is equal to under root of p square plus next q square is equal to टू पी क्यू नैक्स्ट का टीटा प्लस पै ओके सो नौ ऐम टेकिंग दिस वन एस बी एस स्क्वेरिंग बोथ सैड्स स्क्वेरिंग ऑन बोथ सैड्स देन वाट है आर् स्क्वेर इज ईक्वल वाट है पी स्क्वेर प्लस क्यू स्क्वेर नैक्स्ट टू पी क्यू का टीटा प्लस So R square is equal to P square plus Q square plus 2 PQ cos theta plus pi. Okay, if you compare this equation, what we can write? Tell me U1 square. Hmm. Hmm. What happen? If you compare this equation and above equation, what happen? See, U1 square is equal to. Hmm. Uh, what we can write? V1 square next V2 square plus 2 V1 V2 cos of theta plus pi next now i am comparing okay now i am comparing uh, the equation number 2 and equation number 3 compare the equation number 2 and 3 okay which term gets cancelled simply 2 v1 v2 next cos theta plus pi equal to 0 okay this is 2 v1 v2 not equal to 0 means which equal to 0 cos of theta plus pi equal to Zero. Cos of theta plus pi. Okay, you know cos 90 degrees. How much is that value? Cos 90 zero. Why? Because sin 90 one again one to zero approaches. Okay, what happens? Cos cos gets cancelled. Then theta plus pi is equal to how much? 90 degrees. Okay, here what is the conclusion? So. In the oblique co elastic collision, what happens? 
when the collision is happening one body is moving another body is at rest position when the collision happen after the collision the bodies are moving the bodies are moving each other with perpendicular or each other they are moving with right angle so after the collision the bodies are moving with right angle to each other then we can say theta plus phi is equal to 90 degrees means both are in both or each other to 90 degrees means right angle to each other okay in this way we can end this topic uh, the oblique elastic collision so to finally theta plus phi is equal to how many degrees 90 degrees